Hello and welcome to a video on chord tracks within Cubase. So chord tracks are basically a track that you can add visual chords onto your uh, project and those chords can trigger a VST instrument or another sound depending on what you've got uh, set up. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is add our chord track. So we come up to this little plus button here or you can press T on your keyboard and it will be in, sometimes it's not shown here but you have to press the more tracks and it is here, chord. You can only put one in and we're going to add that track. Now we are going to trigger the sounds to a VST instrument. So I'm going to load a VST instrument as well. So you can either press T or add track. And then instrument, this is the last one I used. So I'm going to put this one in. Okay, we're ready to add some chords. So pick up your drawing tool and I tend to start with four like that so I can build a progression but yours yours will be what it is um, so once you have put in the amount of chords in the progression you want double click the first one and yours will probably first come up with this so in here you can kind of audition what you want as your first chord, your root chord. So to make things easy, I'm going to start with a C major. But you can easily audition different sounds in here. I'm just going to start with a C. So once I've got my C chord, you see there's a little set of arrows here. These are quite useful to going to your going cycling through your chords. So I'm now going to click my next chord. I'm going to use the chord assistant. And then you basically get this um, circle of fifths, which is really useful if you're struggling to work out where your next chord should, uh, should be or, or a chord that will just sound nice within the progression that you're trying to write. So I've got my root chord, I'll do the, just put some random chords in here, oh. again you can just, so I've put the fourth, I'll put E minor in there, and then I'll finish on G. I keep forgetting you can just press that to cycle through. So there's another two features in this chord assistant. Uh, so the next one is proximity. So proximity looks at the chord before the one you've highlighted. So it sees the C. Doesn't see one there. It sees one there. And um, it says F is fairly close to it sound wise so if you were looking for a chord that wasn't too far away from it or would work then this is a good tool to use to help you find a chord that will work within your progression and there's also this um, list function which looks at the chord you've got highlighted and then offers different types of chord progressions all the way down I'm guessing the uh, complexity is as it gets redder but I haven't really used this and if someone has uh, good for them but it's not something that I need normally use and um, yeah, so once you've done that, you should be able to play your progression. I mean, you can put it on the cycle and then 
you can start being creative with other tracks you can layer so you can record them there so let's just play through this see if this works ah, the reason that didn't work at the beginning is because you need to change that to that because I want the chord track to be triggered from the this VST instrument. So if I do this now. A couple of other quick things. Just to delete it, you just get your eraser tool and that will delete um, the chords you don't want. You can colorize it by pressing this little arrow over here, make it stand out on your uh, project. And then obviously you can uh, set your grid to whatever you want it to do so that you can get it in the right places. Cool. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's useful and I'll see you again for the next one.